It's, it's a challenge, but it's a challenge that I enjoy going through every day. My name is Cameron. I'm in my fourth year of environmental engineering. I'm in the co-op stream and I bike to school every single day of the year. My name is Sandra. I just graduated from environmental engineering, so this is my fourth and a half year. I am on the first response team. My name is Galen. I'm a fifth year environmental engineering student. I organize a variety of sports tournaments for the engineers here, like curling and squash. There are a few things that made me choose engineering at Guelph, especially environmental, and the first of which was that um, I'm very passionate about the environment, and I want something that, a program that gave me a focus or a way to do something about the environment, and I felt like Guelph was very conducive to my mentality. And the second reason was that at Guelph you have a very collaborative atmosphere. I have a similar experience with Cameron here, but I really like the teamwork and collaboration that we get, as well as all the cool labs like this bubble lab that we have, and being able to go on field trips, which is all, always super fun. I chose the University of Guelph because I really liked uh, the feel of the campus and its reputation as a very envi environmentally progressive university. And I went into environmental engineering because I've always been really passionate about the environment and I really enjoyed math and science. And I think that that sort of combined both my passion and what I was good at. Uh, the main one was third year hydrology where we had to go wading through Speed River over by Guelph with hip waders on. I was actually with these two, uh, sticking a probe into the water to test the water speeds at different depths along the river. And there aren't many programs where you can do that and call it schoolwork. Yeah, I really like that experiment with Cam and Galen too. Uh, it was tons of fun to go trekking along the stream. A bunch of our profs and TAs came out with us too, which was super fun to have their input on it. And I actually did a similar lab, the same lab repeated again. So I just went out in the middle of winter with some of my other friends and we took some stream measurements and dam measurements outside one of the swim areas that we have here. I think one of the, my favorite things that I've done here with the school started off as a school project where we were going to design a new system for a building on campus for heating and cooling and the university actually was running a competition at the same time for sustainable initiatives and we entered our idea into the competition and it was sort of like whoever won the competition their idea was going to be built. It was sort of working with facilities at the university such as physical resources and then applying what we'd learned in our coursework to make this idea better and develop it. What we were building could have actually been a reality so I think that was something that I really enjoyed. That's one of the major questions I get asked by prospective students is about the workload. In terms of difficulty I think it's more important just being stubborn than being smart in engineering. Just being able to sit down and work through something and not getting discouraged. So I'm not as organized as Cam but luckily I'm friends with Cam so I rely on him to give me the due dates for our projects but I find that Doing homework, we all do it together, so it becomes more of a social event rather than a chore, let's say. So I actually really like being able to hang out with my friends and get some more work done at the same time.